In today's video, we're going to break down five incredible facts about the awesome English Bulldog. Welcome back to the Fenrir English Bulldog Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder and CEO of FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything that you could possibly ever want to know about the glorious English Bulldog and how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect English Bulldog companions. So if you are a lover of the English Bulldog, just like we are, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss a future English Bulldog video. So let's dive into today's video. We're going to break down five incredible and interesting facts about one of the world's most unique dog breeds on the planet. The fact we have at number five is the English Bulldogs, and we're going to have a little look back at that savage history. The laid back and mostly very friendly English Bulldog that we know today do unfortunately have a very violent origin. Originally, they were bred for working with bulls on farms here in England, as their name would suggest, Bulldog. However, in the 13th century, a grizzly new sport emerged here in England called bull baiting. The former farm dog was now bred and trained to perform in these bull baiting competitions, which was a cruel blood sport that involved a pack of dogs fighting a staked bull whilst the audience placed bet on the outcome of the match. It was only when blood sports were finally banned in England in the year of 1835 that the bulldog was released from its bondage of these violent sports, or at least you would think. In reality, however, what actually happened was these sports simply moved underground and morphed into predominantly dog fighting, performed in people's cellars. It was during these dark times that the breed was shaped into its more modern day form by crossing the bulldog with various terrier breeds. Between the ban of bull baiting and the English Bulldog's official recognition by the American Kennel Club in 1886, breed enthusiasts shaped today's mellow and gentle companion dog out of that ferocious bullfighter of the past into the loving, gentle, hilarious companions that we see today. Now, our fact at number four is an incredible one, and that's just how amazing English Bulldogs are with children. Now, this may come as a surprise, given what it is that we've just talked about, about those fierce bull biters of centuries gone by. However, the breeding efforts of Bulldog enthusiasts of the 19th and 20th century really have paid off. Present-day English Bulldogs make marvellous family pets and are particularly fond of and known to be very patient with children. Of course, as is the case with any breed, dogs and children should never be left alone together unsupervised but the calm mellow character of today's english bulldog is perfect for families who are looking to bring a kind and lower energy dog into their home a home by the way which you will fiercely defend against intruders although they do not belong to the large guardian breeds english bulldogs are still impressive middle-sized dogs they can weigh up to 25 kilos and reach up to around 40 centimeters and their build is distinctly stocky with that large blocky head and compact body that is packed with solid muscle. Any potential burglar will usually be wise enough to avoid a home guarded by an English Bulldog, especially because they do look rather intimidating and are known as a breed that should not be messed with. Now, our fact at number three and something we have to talk about is how the English Bulldogs really are couch potatoes. Even though they love to play with their owners, English Bulldogs are low energy dogs and do not require lots of exercise every single day. This makes them ideal dogs for living in apartments or very small house. Their low drive for movement and activity makes them less likely to run around, knock over things and destroy your furniture than many other of the more high drive breeds. A few shorter walks during the day along with a little bit of daily playtime and most importantly a really comfortable place to relax are more than sufficient to make the English Bulldog incredibly happy. They love being around people and usually get along well with other pets so if you are out working all day you should proactively plan for maybe a family member or a good doggy daycare to help look after your dog in your absence because they're not necessarily too keen on being left alone. Now even though English Bulldogs are very low maintenance and therefore a great choice for first time owners there are a few more aspects to consider which takes us to fact number two and the topic of the english bulldog's health because they belong to the brassiophallic breeds along with various mastiff breeds as well as french bulldogs and pugs they are prone to what we call brassiophallic obstructive airway syndrome that basically means that they are having a lot of trouble breathing because of their shorter than usual muzzles and that flat face hence owners of the english bulldog's 
have to become very comfortable and are very familiar with the snoring, snorting, heavy breathing, panting that comes from their pets. Their compressed schools also make them particularly sensitive to heat. They do overheat very quickly and should never be left outside or exercise too much, especially on a hot day. Now, the extensive wrinkles on the bulldog's face also require daily cleaning to prevent any form of infection that can occur in those wrinkles. Eye conditions often cause them chronic pain and they are prone to various bone and joint disorders uh, such as hip dysplasia and arthritis. Their unusual susceptibility to joint and ligament injuries is due to a structural defect inherent within the breed. This defect is called chondrodysplasia and basically means abnormal growth of cartilage. Various allergies, thyroid and heart problems as well as cancer are also on the list of are very common breeds to this lovable breed's health issues. Now, this is not to say that every English Bulldog will have all of those problems mentioned, but it is really important that you should be aware of this before you choose this over a more low maintenance dog breed in terms of their health. Now remember, if you do need any help training a perfect English Bulldog puppy, we have a range of online resources available at femreardogtraining.com or you can check them out in the link in the description box below. But let's move on to the last fact we have at number one. And that is that the English Bulldogs don't float or fly. One rather peculiar and little known fact about the English Bulldog is that they are negatively buoyant. In other words, they don't float when put into bodies of water. Contrary to most dog breeds, you cannot expect the English Bulldog to be able to swim. Now, some do, some don't. But if you put one of them into your swimming pool and expect them to just figure it out, you may instead be faced with a dog that is sinking like a rock, which is obviously a prime time to cause disaster. Now, on the other hand, water is an excellent way to cool down your naturally heat sensitive English Bulldog. So if you own a pool or live nearby a river or lake, you can easily work around the negative buoyancy issue by putting a doggy life vest on them. This way they can enjoy the water without endangering themselves. Now, also it is worth noting that you should not take your English Bulldog on a plane. As one of the Brassiophallic or snubbed nose breeds being transported in airplanes might well kill them. In fact, many airlines will not even transport members of these breeds simply because the risk of the dog dying is just so high. So therefore, if you want your English Bulldog to join you on any of your vacations, you need to ensure that you're planning to go somewhere nearby and safely transport them in an air-conditioned vehicle instead. So I think it is safe to say that the English Bulldog is quite an amazing companion and really solid little guardian, especially well suited for novice owners and families with children and people living in small apartments. Now, their health issues aside, they are unique, adorable and very loving house dogs. So I hope you enjoyed our five facts today. If so, make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to get involved in the comment section below and give us some more facts if you know any that we might have left off that list. Now, don't forget to subscribe as we have two dedicated English Bulldog videos coming to this channel every single week. So I can't wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Femrear English Bulldog Show.